University send you? Excuse me? Because if they did, they can get lost. <laughs> I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really? Blackdap! Balderdash! <laughs> what are you doing? Are you quite certain you're not a spy? A spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it! What theories? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir! Come on, boy. Hey, you. What do you want? Howdy. You Granger? That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be's correct. 
Them days are long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> well, shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. A knee deep in hog crap. Well, mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, a young man like you would get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? If you shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. Ah, damn it. These better be some stories. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Or get out of here and stop wasting my time. All right. Shovel your damn shit. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals. I even killed rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. I scalped some. <laughs> Boy, they scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. Don't know what's got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Bury folks alive. One time, I... Hey, I get it, all right? You're me. What about Callaway? You have no idea, girl. By a feminine type like you, I'd probably have chopped your head off, stuffed you, and eaten you like a sausage. No doubt. Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. Ugh. Hell, Ugh. that stinks. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up your mess. Go on, tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You're making a book. You should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say, and I'll leave you alone. You owe me that. Hey, you be careful. Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time. You know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? <laughs> well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this farm. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote from the book. Hey, hey, hey you don't you don't hit no man a piece, no government witness. <laughs> Galloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girlie. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this pigsty, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. <laughs> All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick! You walk away right now. No. No. No! You did not! You just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killing. And I'm gonna enjoy it now. Draw! It's gonna be the last thing you do.
Don't understand this at all. Hey, what's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem for me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. No, well, no, wait. Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me, Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I have spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But... Tomorrow, I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well... Uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes! Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of... ten dollars. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Well, I'm interested in the map, but not so interested in the haggle. Why don't you just hand it over instead? <laughs> uh, yeah. hey, hey, what is your problem? No voy a morir por esto. Papa, estúpido. Mr. Morgan, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your God has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But seeing, I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. How's about you playing this place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? 
Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down then. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both for being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. <laughs> Life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game, after all, mister. Don't laugh. Woo! For Christ's sakes. <laughs> Come on. This has been quite the eventful day. I'll see you. Good. I'll check. Nah. I check. And another check. Why don't that surprise me? Ah, crap. That's the way it goes. All right, what do we got? Whew. Sneak that one. Mm. No way. <laughs> it all counts, huh? Got this, you big dumb moron. I wish I'd asked that drunken fool to bless my card before he passed out. Yup. Let's start this low for now. No. I don't think. Here. Let's see then. There. Damn it. Jesus, you got lucky there. Yeah. Yep. Okay, this is getting annoying now. Man, 
You're real unlucky, ain't you? I must say, you have a lot less stories than your friend did. No, not for me. Sorry about that. Check. I'll check. Not for me. Make it interesting. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> there we go. Gonna start small here. Is that it? Uh... Okay, then. How about that? I got okay. bullshit. <laughs> now, that is a real hand. I'll take it. Back in it. You lucky son of a bitch. Wish I'd got your friend to bless my hand before he passed out. I reckon you're a serious bluffer. Okay. Let's start this low for now. Um... Good. You're not one of life's risk takers, huh? Okay, let's do this. Nah. So, here. This ain't what you call finishing strong. Woo! Well, shit. Huh. Yes, come on. Come on, let's keep this up. Are you kidding me? Shall we just play a little more? No. You're real exciting. Real exciting. I check. No. Check. 
Check. I'm a check. Okay. Here, look. Only just. <sighs> well done. I'll take it. There we go, finally. Good for you, I guess. The people we've met at this table, huh, Marvin? I'm a seed. Okay. Here. Hmm. I wonder. Good. I check. You should just go play checkers the amount you check. Call. Check. Nah. Yeah. Oh, uh, check. So, what are we looking at, fellas? How do you like this? Damn it. I got. Don't mind if I do. Little. I can't believe this shit. <whistles> All right. That's it. Well, okay. Check. No. Ah. Hmm. Better than nothing. What the hell is this? Check. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is getting too rich for me. Well, sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where it? <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about?
Hey, you! Get back here! You better stop right there! I said stop, damn it! Okay, okay. Tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. On uh, second thoughts, you can give me all your money, too. Okay, here, just take it. Just just please let me go. You wanted to die over this? Get out of here. Reverend! Get off the damn tracks! You crazy? Just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard. Help! Help me or we're both dead! Done with your foot! It appears to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Get it! Come on! <laughs> 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 You. What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that! There was your goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But...
Jose, how are you? I see he's been out there working hard again. Well, I was wondering when he'd show up. Better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <clears throat> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. <sighs>